Yo guys, Steve here Scotch and Things. What is up? Hey, wanted to talk pens with, <laughs> with you really quick. Um, maybe last June, so almost a year ago, you saw an unboxing on this um, Grimsmo Saga. This was my first Grimsmo Saga. I just got this one the other day. I didn't do an unboxing because how many pen unboxings do you need? But I bought a second one. Why did I buy a second one? Because I love this one so much and I use it every day. But it's not with me all the time. So I keep this in my work bag, um, you know, my briefcase, satchel, you know, or my laptop. All my stuff is for work. Use it for, I'm, you know, use it for paperwork all the time. And on the site, um, so, I mean, it's just a fantastic pen. Again, Grimsmo quality machining, fun to play with, awesome pen. Um, but I keep that in my bag, in my briefcase, in the work. It stays like inside the work trailer for the most part. You know, sign checks with it, stuff like that. I'm just making excuses because I want another one. But I wanted one on the jobs, like when I'm outside, like when I'm working, because I'm constantly writing on plans, um, inside manuals, you know, figuring shit out. I'm constantly using a pen. And if you've watched, I had been carrying a Hinderer Investigator pen. Great pen, perfect pen, um, nothing wrong with it, except, of course, I had to find a flaw. It's got a twist cap. You gotta take the cap off, screw the cap on the end, then you can write. I guess you don't have to screw it on, but constantly you gotta keep, you know, you're twisting on and off, and it's just, I was like, this is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, I'll get another Saga. Um, so, bought another one. Got I bought this one brand new from Grimsmo. I got this one on the Grimsmo Facebook group. If you're looking for one, guys, go there. Much cheaper. Um, so, yeah, I bought this for work. They're both for work, even though, whatever. Do you need two? Do I need two of anything? No. Do I want to? Yeah. Um, so, this is for me. I, it's in my pocket. It's going to get beat up. It's in the same, you know, at work right now. In my left pocket, plus another knife. That's what's in there so i don't it's gonna get banged up whatever I don't, I don't care it's a fantastic writing tool and it's easy i just click and i can write i can write in manuals i can write on plans i'm always making notes for the guys on on in instruction manuals you know so stuff like that um and you know i kind of want to have a pen on me so i'm gonna like this one i just like i like leaving it in my bag so I'm writing down guys' time, um, signing payroll checks, doing, filling out new employee for shit like that. I know I've always got a pen in my, in my briefcase, um, bag. Uh, I'll show you the bag. It's a really cool bag. Um, but I wanted one on me all the time. So this is just going to get, goes in my pocket every day for work. And then I'll just, when I dump my pockets at night, um, and it can transfer if I'm going out or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I wanted the second one. Got a second one. It's going to get beat up. So be it. Um, I just, they're just exceptional pens. And I mentioned this in the Hinderer video. Guys could say, yeah, you could have a Bic or anything like that. Uh, I can't remember the brand of pen I always used to use. And it's escaping me. Um, but the top part was metal and the lower part, like it was metal from here up and then, uh, plastic from here or which way was it? Yeah. Plastic from here down had black, it was black grooves. And I liked it cause it was fine. I like fine tip pens, clicker pen, but any pressure and it would snap. Big pens were a little bit better, but they get, you know, they get bent. We're constantly lifting heavy sheets. Sheets are the sidewall sheets of the bin, but, or anything, rafters, roof sheets, um, and you're constantly putting those, like, up against your hips, um, to take some of the weight off sometimes, and I broke, I've broken dozens of pens and bent big pens, I don't know how it happened, but one of the tips got, bent the pin, and one of the tips spouted off the, the Bic, and I had ink all over my pocket, this was a couple years ago, just a pain in the ass, so titanium should hold up better. Um, but I just, well, like I said, I'm making, I'm, I'm justifying why I wanted a second one. 
Um, in my mind, pff, makes perfect sense. But in all honesty, they're just excellent pens. A um, little bit different. So they do the, this one's blue, this one's purple, obviously. Um, you can kind of see that that's kind of like a cross hatch, and this is kind of like a different pattern. Kind of cool. This one has, it'll focus. Can, is it focusing? This has the little Grimsville logo on it, and this one was a little bit different. This one's got the, the maple leaf. Kind of cool. You can get them where they put the logos down here. You can get them in bronze or copper or, or whatever. I didn't want anything fancy, even though this is fancy enough. But it is, if you've held one or used one, fantastic. This one's got the fine, a fine tip. This one's got the medium. I, th I like the fine tip better, so I'm going to order some new cartridges and switch this over to um, fine instead of the medium. Just my preference. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm a lot of money in pens right here. Kind of crazy, but I, you know, I'm at that age now where I just buy stuff that makes me happy and I like, so I don't have to justify it because yeah, I just kind of do what I want now, which is kind of nice, but um, definitely cool. They get, like I said, this one's used daily and for the two days I've had this one in my pocket it's like I said I'm constantly writing on stuff um at work so it's it's really handy this one's gonna go back in the bag this one's gonna go back and this will be more of my EDC like everyday carry it'll be carry I'll carry it to work I'll carry it when I'm not working and uh yeah there you go guys um this one was night number nine kind of cool they're number two 1943 this one's a little bit older uh, this one's 15, God, did I tell you I'm getting glasses? This one's number 1590, if you can see there. But typical Grimsmo saga, you can see they even, I think it's, it says Grimsmo something or other inside there. Just the attention to detail, guys, um, is why I like their product so much. But um, like I said, if you want a nice pen, any pen will do, but... Yeah, I like these. Um, I don't need a third one, so two I think is plenty. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I'm probably crazy justifying, like, the Hinderer pen had been working great, but just that little annoyance of having to unscrew the cap. And then when you wanted to put it back in your pocket so you didn't get ink everywhere or it was stabbing you. And I haven't had any issues with the clicker getting depressed yet and having the the tip out so yeah i just want to show you another pen i got two of them now thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you later bye